I just want to take a moment though to show you guys how weird of a cat I have. O'Malley is so weird. Here's my floor. Yes, it's very messy in here. I'm slowly cleaning and toilet paper needs to go downstairs. That's why it's on the floor. But if you can see, my clothes are moving in this little pile right here. O'Malley. Why is she under my clothes? What are you doing? Are you okay? Are you okay with life? What's going on? All right, see ya. It is like almost 11 o'clock at night and I'm only just now having dinner, but I'm eating this like kind of like a chopped up salad that I made. It's just romaine hearts. There's some avocado in there, if I can show this right. There I did carrots, um, tomatoes, and some peppers. And then this is actually vegan meatless meat. I've shown it before in a video, but I love making chopped salads. Oh, there's capers in here too. If you can kind of see, there was some right there. There's capers mixed in there because I love some capers. That's what I'm eating. It looks like a lot of food because a lot of lettuce just down at the bottom. But I'm going to grub. And then as like a salad dressing, I just did the green dragon like hot sauce from Trader Joe's with some olive oil so it's not so dry. So I'm excited. Because this is what I decided to do at like, oh my God, it's like 11.30 p.m. right now and I'm straightening my hair because that sounded like a good idea to me. In case anyone cares, which you guys might not, but the hair straightener that I use is actually the Solia brand hair straightener from Falica.com. I swear by this one. I had one before um, in high school and it literally lasted me so long. And I only repurchased this one literally last year, last year, um, because I had it like all through like middle, middle school, at least high school. I think I got it like, um, my junior year in high school and then i had it like all the way up through till last year so it lasted so long I'll include the link if i can remember to put it down in the, in the description box below um but we kind of know how that goes with me um but yeah um i got it around this time too last year because they were like on sale or whatever if you get it full price so let me see how much it is this is a 209 dollar flat iron that is not how much I paid for it. I don't think that's the one I have. Unless they like raise their prices. Ooh, snap skis. <laughs> I guess before I forget, I should kind of tell you guys how I straighten my hair. I'm sorry if this is like not that great, but I feel like even if I close this door, it's not that great behind me. Seriously? Is this down? Okay. See, it's still not like that great in the background, but whatever. Did I just mess up my part? Anyways, so to straighten my hair, I like using this in my hair when it's wet. And then obviously, yeah, what am I saying? <laughs> when I get out of the shower, um, I like to put this in my hair sparingly. I don't like to put too much of it in just because um, my hair, weirdly, it can last a good maybe like four days without washing it. And then it, I like need to wash my scalp. So... And then if I overload it too much, like my hair too much with product, it's just going to make it build up more on my scalp. So I do really like this stuff. It's just the Tresemme Keratin Smooth 7 Day Smooth System. I actually really like this. And this one's all out. Like I used, like I scraped the rest of it. So I put that in my hair. And then usually that's all I need when I straighten my hair. But sometimes if my hair is a little bit frizzy, and it's usually only like that when it's like super dry, um, I go in with this Chi Silk Infusion. And my friend actually told me about this one. And I usually get it from Marshalls or TJ Maxx. It's only $10 if you get it from there. Um, it says compare it $20, but it's kind of hard to find this. There's another thing that looks like exactly like this bottle. But you want to get the one that's the Silk Reconstructing... Silk Reconstructing Complex. It's the one that you put in your hair and you leave it, you just style it. There's another one that looks exactly like this, but you are supposed to wash it out. 
that's the wrong one. I bought that one before. It's the wrong one. And it's a clear gel. And I usually only put this in my hair. Like I said, if it's like really frizzy, like if I straighten my hair and it still looked like this, because I haven't done this side yet. If it still looked like this after straighten my hair, which see, this is the side that's done. This is the side I still need to do. Sometimes my hair will still look like this even after I run through um, or run over it with the flat iron. That's not put that. And you want to add like a teeny bit of that to condition my hair every time I straighten it. My go-to conditioner, oh. My go-to conditioner is this one by Joyco. It's the K-Pack conditioner. This one is the Re Revital, what is this one? <laughs> Revitalisant, I think that's the other language though. So it's just the conditioner to repair damage. As you can see, I got it from Marshalls on sale. You can find these at like Marshalls and TJ Maxx. I don't know where else you can find it. I usually get it from there and I stock up on these because these are amazing. I definitely use these when I have curly or when I wear my hair curly too, but especially for when I'm straightening my hair, this one is amazing. This one specifically is just so good. And I let that sit in my hair for a while to really soak in. And then to straighten my hair, I usually let it air dry for a while after I put the product in, um, before I go in and blow dry. Like my hair took me like five minutes to blow dry today. And that was like amazing because I let it dry like borderline all the way before I blow dried it. And then I just group it up in sections like this side, like you can kind of see. So I split it like right over my ear first. And then I put the whole front section just up in a little knot. And then the back part, I divide in two sections. So I start from the bottom back always. So this is the first section that I'm doing is just this bottom half of the back half of the head. And then I put the top in another little knot. And then I work from this section and I section it into smaller pieces and I just clip it with a little hair clip in place. So after I have this big chunk of hair on the bottom part, I just section off a really small piece and sometimes I find that even this might be too much hair because I don't like to run over it too many times with the flat iron, but I will just clip this out of the way. And then I always use a comb to kind of comb through my hair before I straighten the piece. So I just make sure there's no knots or anything in it. And then you just use the flat iron. Pretty straightforward. And yes, it smokes on my hair. It's probably not good that it does that because just to, to see it fry is just crazy. But sometimes I add a little bit of a turn at the end. See, look, I just like flicked, like rotated my wrist just a teeny bit at the end to get that little bit of a curve to it. Just because sometimes I feel like if my hair is just flat straight down, my face is already like, I think it's oval shape, right? It just makes it like super long, like my face like super long and just weird looking. So I have to add a little bit of like movement to my hair. And then um, when I sleep, I either braid it like normal if I want my hair to be kind of crimpy and wavy the next day. But if I don't, I don't wrap my hair cause I just like, it makes my head sweat. And so I'll have to redo like all of my, um, roots if I like wrap my hair to sleep at night with my hair straight. I've never been able to sleep with my hair wrapped like ever because I just sweat it out. So I usually just wear my hair out when it's straight because um, usually it doesn't tangle up too badly and now that I say that it probably will. Um, but normally I've just always been able to just sleep with my hair just loose and out when my hair is straight. So that's what I do. So I'm just going to finish. I need a snack right now. So I'm going to run downstairs and get a snack. Even though it's literally 2 a.m. I give zero you know what. So I'm just going to finish my hair. After this section, I'm getting a snack. Because your girl. She needs one. Why did I do that? Oh. Why? What am I doing here? This is because I need a snack. And I've literally cut my hair. Well, not like cut it, like trimmed my ends off of my hair, like all, like every day this week. And I get like that sometimes because I get scared to take off the big chunks at a time. I keep hitting my arm, stupid door. 
but I get scared to cut off like big chunks at a time. So I'll just like trim it like the teeniest bit amount like over a course of like a week and then I'll be good for like another like month and a half and then I'll be like, okay, I need to trim it again because I'm still trying to get the rest of this color out of the ends of my hair. Like I just can't grow the color out. Like, let's see how much. Well, actually, it's almost gone, it looks like. Let me see. Oh, there's only a teeny bit left, if you can kind of see it. Yeah, see, there's only like a teeny tiny bit of color left. <sighs> Soon. Soon, it shall all be gone. Okay, I gotta go get a snack. All right, so I finally finished my hair. I figured I would take you guys off of that fish eye look, but so. Yay, finished my hair, and it's only 12.51 a.m. <gasps> but so, my hair is kind of falling out of <laughs> the curls on this side. I like literally just finished, so this side is kind of holding it still. I never really wear my hair like in the middle part when it's straight, just because like I said, it just makes my face so long. But I go like this with a little bit cooter you know and then see like I need a little bit of like the body like the curls and everything oh my god I should have cramped in my foot to like just make it better you know oh my god I haven't straightened my hair in so long like I always feel like a new person when I straighten my hair it's the weirdest thing of life okay all right hair I get it I got it so you don't want to go that way I don't know which side to like part my hair to, but it's not digging this. There. Oh. I feel like I've been wearing it like, have I been wearing it in the middle part with my hair curly? No, so I don't know why it's acting up. There. That's a little better. It's falling a little bit easier that way. You really see this little peak? <laughs> I put my finger right through there. Look at that. Yeah, see? It's like falling. My hair is actually a lot thinner than it used to be, too. Like, when I was younger, my hair used to be pretty thick, and now it's, like, not. So I strained too much. So, yeah, I'm going to drink my wine, and I'm going to go to bed. So, really funny story right now. It is, literally, what time is it? It is 11.50 p.m., okay? Borderline midnight. I'm sick getting sicker by the hour, okay, super sick, and my basement decides to leak. I don't know what is leaking, but I came down here because I was looking for some mucinex because I was like, hmm, I had a shit ton of mucinex. Where the hell could it be? Maybe it's in the basement. Maybe I should go check down there and see, right? I come down here, all right? And there's a rug that's supposed to like cover up the divide between the carpet and the hard floor in the laundry room. Borderline busts my whole ass on it, turn the light on to see why I almost fell on this stupid ass rug, and there's water all underneath it. All right. I'm only laughing because now I can laugh about it. I already cried for literally like five minutes and had a panic attack about it because I'm here by myself and I don't know what to do and if you can still faintly hear the water running, it's in the sump pump, I guess. I don't even know if that's working right, but it's still dripping water in there. <coughs> I'm sorry, I'm like super sick. <laughs> okay, and I look disgusting because I wanted to take some damn mucinex, which I still haven't found, and go to bed, right? <sighs> Please, someone remind me why I bought a house. Like, why did I do this to myself? Why? Okay, so here's the aftermath of right now. Mind you, like I said, it is 12 a.m., so borderline the next day. I should be asleep right now, or at least should have taken my mucinex like five, two hours ago, okay? So that I could go to sleep and feel at least somewhat better tomorrow at work. But no. So this happened. So the other day, it did leak in here when I was doing the laundry. So I thought it was an issue with the washing machine. I thought the washing machine, like overflew or flooded or something the other day. So literally yesterday, 
I call and I schedule an appointment for someone to come look at the washing machine next week. So next Wednesday. Because I'm like, yeah, yeah, it's the washing machine. And it's, I should be asleep right now. <sighs> like I said, what was I saying even? I can't even, like, think. <coughs> uh, <coughs> what was I saying? <laughs> okay, well, that's just done because I literally have no idea what I was saying. Um, but, yeah. So, this is fun. Like, literally, I just feel like my life right now, and like I said, I can laugh about it because I already cried. I already had a freak out moment. So now it's just funny to me because it's like, of course this happens to me. Of course this is how my life goes. Like, why do I not just, like, expect this to be the sequence of how things happen in my life, right? It's like, literally, oh, Anna, we know you just started working out again yesterday, and we know you should be on a diet, but we're going to give you this awesome sundae that we literally just invented here in our restaurant. So here's the ice cream. Oh, let's just add a little bit of whipped cream to that. We know you like some whipped cream. And then even though we know you don't like cherries, here's a little cherry on top. And just for the shits and giggles, okay, we're going to add some more sprinkles even though we know you're on a diet and you definitely don't need it. Here's your new sundae that we just invented here in our restaurant and it's called Congratulations. You just had your first flood in your first house. So there you go. That's how I feel right now, and that's why I can laugh about it now, because I just feel like that's what it is on a platter. Here is your first flood on a platter. Which, it didn't even, I'm, okay, I'm kind of over-exaggerating. Literally total panic mode that I was in, okay? So freaking out. But, like, I'm just, like, so upset. Like, literally, because this rug, and this rug is even still wet, this rug was laid out, kind of like that, how that one is on top of the carpet. But it was laid down right here. I pick it up, just all water underneath. There was all water down under there. There's still some water underneath like the washing machine and the dryer because I can't get anything under there to dry it up. But see like this towel, yeah, soaked. Like you can see the difference in color because this one is soaked from the water. These towels are just done right here because they're completely soaked. These soaked. These all soaked. And then these ones right here are all soaked. Just straight water. This is the thing that I slipped on because it's got that like rubber at the bottom. And it's all dirty now. This is just perfect. So this was sitting right here, right, when I walk in. So I step on it and just go boom and almost bust my ass. Man, this is what I signed up for, I guess, but... All right, and then, ooh, even better, I guess one of those little sprinkle flavors was you have friends hiding in your wall, and they are called spiders. There was a huge spider. Now he's gone. So I guess he's gone to his bedroom somewhere in the wall. But it was in there. So the goodness in this right now, though, is the fact that it's no longer leaking, so there's no more water falling out now. So that's a good thing. And so I'm going to reward myself now, <laughs> reward myself now, for dealing with the Your Basement's Leaking Sunday uh, with that extra sprinkles, the colorful kind on top of it. I'm gonna have a drink. So, oh my god, I found a new bomb ass freaking drink if you're of legal age, you know what I mean? Um, so, it's just, and of course, yeah, okay, don't judge. I have the baby size Jack Daniels because this was from New Year's Eve. This is how much I didn't need to buy this ginormous bottle that I have this much left and it's well past New Year's Eve, but I still have it. But, anyways, <coughs> <coughs> so cute. I mix like a shot, or probably two for today, of this. If you can hear that weird, gross, dinosaur type sound, like monster sound, it's O'Malley. She's in heat and it's disgusting. Yeah. Ew. Ew. And then, you just shaky, shaky, shaky some apple cider and he mixes that in there so i do like a shot or two of the honey jack oh i didn't say that it's the honey jack not just regular jack honey jack so i do like just a shot or two and then i do mostly um 
the apple cider, and then ginger ale. And on the kicker, if you're super classe, non-basic, you know, <laughs> non-basic, and cheese knees, add some cinnamon to it, and it makes it so good if you add this to the top. Holy shit, that scared me so bad. I think you could see me jump actually in the video, but it was just this. So that's what I'm drinking right now. It looks like a lot because like I said, it's mostly the apple cider mixed in there and that's all of the cinnamon. I just kind of let it like dissolve and fall around and everything tink. I decided I was gonna drink that though because like I said, I don't have any cold medicine here, which I thought I did. And if I realized I was out, like completely out of all of my cold medicine, which usually I have a ton, I don't know what happened to it. I definitely would have gotten some like at the store today before I came home so <coughs> gross that hurt oh my god oh my god so I'm gonna go drink this probably go to sleep now fix my planner and go to sleep try to get some sleep because I have to call plumber super early in the morning so I'm gonna try to get some rest we'll see if that actually happens I'm actually really stressed out from this, so I'm trying to overcompensate for my stressed outness and my fear because I don't know how much it's going to cost and just I'm worried about my house. And now Mally's tearing up my carpet. Let's not and say we did. But yeah, so. Ew. <gasps> what the hell was that? What is on her? Ew, I kind of tapped her to get her to stop and she got something weird on my toe. What is that? Cat litter? Wet cat litter. Ew. Oh my God, and I'm not even kidding you, you guys. Legit. Oh, Mally just peed on this now. On top of everything else, oh, I've come in here from taking out the trash and Mally just like scrapes up her little paws on there and I was like, no. I know this cat, I know she didn't do this. Like, I know she didn't, I know she didn't pee on this, right? But like, it kind of smells like cat pee. I think she peed on it. Like, like the way that she was like kicking on it, like she just came out of the cat litter. And she does that when she like pees on stuff. I don't know though, cause like I can't really smell that well. No, yeah, she definitely peed on it. Yep. She definitely peed on it. Cause it wasn't like she's in heat. She definitely peed on it. Oh, Mally. Did you pee on the blanket? You peed on it, didn't you? This is my life. This is my life. This is it. Yeah, now, I mean, thankfully she didn't pee on the carpet. I don't think it's on the carpet. I didn't see it anywhere, like wet. I, don't, I didn't even see it wet on the blanket, so. But I'm just gonna, guess, throw all that out. Not like I needed that for anything. <laughs>